So um, thank you for, for the uh, nice introduction and uh, thanks you uh, also Arthur because uh, of the uh, very interesting overview about uh, needle detection techniques because um, uh, the word needle detection is not inside uh, uh, this title, but uh, as you will see, I will go to needle interventions uh, also. So we have a nice combination here in this in this um, parallel room. So uh, first, uh, my name is Stefan Maas. I'm the founder of a startup called SomaView. We are located in Bochum, Germany, and um, I'm very happy that I have the chance to share our work uh, about wireless augmented reality point of care ultrasound. Um, this work is part of a bigger project that is called ARNI for augmented reality needle intervention. Um, um, this project is funded by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research. Uh, thanks again for the funding from here. Um, the partners in the project are our, our startup SomaView. We are we have an expertise in augmented reality and ultrasound visualization. Um, our research partner is the Westphalian University um, in Gelsenkirchen, about 30 kilometers away from here, and they have deeper knowledge about ultrasound image processing with and without artificial intelligence. Our clinical partner is the University Hospital of Frankfurt, and of course they are the ultrasound users that needs to be inside such a project uh, because it's uh, always a problem when only uh, engineers and software developers uh, try out something without uh, regarding the the um, future users of the system. The main objective of the project ARNI is um, to combine real-time ultrasound with augmented reality and image processing methods to create an assistant system um, that helps physicians uh, placing central venous catheters. Um, okay, we, uh, I'm now on an ultrasound, um, a point of care ultrasound conference. So uh, everybody of you uh, or everybody knows the problem when using ultrasound, especially for learners, it's very hard because um, actually, you want to look inside the human body, but um, not only for ultrasound, but it, it, uh, and for every uh, imaging modality, you have the problem. You look on a screen of a monitor of the de ultrasound device in this case. And with that uh, setup, you only have an indirect view into the human body, uh, what makes ultrasound hard to learn. And even for advanced uh, users, when thinking of needle interventions, sometimes hard to master. And um, we want to optimize such a setup by the help of augmented reality. Um, with the usage, uh, with using um, AR glasses and a proper AR software, we created something like an, let's say, superhero X-ray vision, but uh, of course, without using harmful X-rays, uh, we use harmless ultrasound. Um, this image shows the, the, the view through the eyes of the users, what you can see inside the AR glasses. And now you can see the live ultrasound image images directly beneath the transducer. So you can see the anatomical structures and also the needle, as you can see in here, directly where they are in the real world. Uh, maybe it's easier to um, clarify it uh, in the video. Again, the situation, please imagine you uh, put on the AR glasses and now you th look through the glasses. What you can see here is what I told before, the live ultrasound image feed directly placed beneath the transducer, but uh, with a linear probe, this is only four or five centimeters high. So we created an additional virtual screen here that you have something like a zoom in view. Um, what is maybe more interesting when talking about needle interventions is you, all, you uh, still have the problem where to uh, uh, to to uh, move the needle directly into in this case math inside the phantom what we added here is something like a navigation system and uh, arthur you can maybe add this to your slices soon um where oh that was too early um where um we can now have a virtual re representation of the needle uh, in a, a green, a simple green line. And now the needle functions as a, let's say, virtual laser pointer. So if you now move the needle along its axis, you will hit 
the ultrasound image slice exactly at the point at, at the red point like if you have a laser pointer in your hand and move a, along the, the 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 laser so i would i would say with such a setup it's nearly impossible um, to not hit the mass okay I, i must say if the mass is big enough because we have to do further studies about accuracy of the system but um from from now on you don't have to switch between in plane or out of plane or whatever you prefer just aim on the mass you want to hit and when you hit your uh, your mass uh, the system uh, turns or the needle turns red color to uh, show you that you are in place where you want it to be so uh, maybe you have seen it uh, for that uh, um, for that setup we use the standard ultrasound device um, but uh, the aim of that pro part of the project was uh, to find out if you can use a, a portable ultrasound system a real portable system uh, system not a laptop system um, but a wireless ultrasound system for that um, we had the chance to uh, to test a uh, yuki uh, probe uh, called Q7, uh, Q7 and um, combined it with our soft software uh, in a way um, where the data flow is as following. Um, the uh, Q7 probe sends the ultrasound images uh, live stream wireless through our ARNI transmission box. Um, on the box uh, there runs the Sonar IQ software. This is the one from UK Medical that you have usually on the tablet or a smartphone device. Um, and there the ARNI server uh, sends the data uh, wireless to the um, HoloLens 2 with the ARNI client and then you have the exact, uh, the, the, uh, the exact view that you have before with the standard ultrasound device. What we wanted to know is, is the system A fast enough in, in terms of uh, latency and uh, is the image quality good enough to perform uh, certain interventions. So um, the, with, with a wireless ultrasound probe and also with clinical uh, standard clinical system, system, you always have a delay. The time from uh, collecting the data uh, until they are uh, calculated to the, the images you see on the screen always takes time. And of course, with a small wireless probe and using wire, wireless uh, transmission and not by a cable, you, the delay is even bigger. So we have now two steps and we wanted to know is the system fast enough. Um, and the delay was um, measured over uh, some some minutes, always below 0 0.2 seconds. And our clinical partners and, and everyone who tested the system said this is fast enough, not only for diagnosis, but also for needle interventions like biopsies or uh, whatever you can think of. The image quality, of course, depends of the system we use, uh, in this case, the Q7, and um, the quality of the AR glasses. In our case, the HoloLens 2, um, because AR glasses have the problems uh, of, of uh, showing high contrast images in some cases, but the HoloLens uh, was good enough in combination with uh, this ultrasound device so that everyone said uh, the, the quality was quite good or uh, at least acceptable for, for the proper application. Um, uh, the main problem was that when you have the, Im uh, uh, the images in the real uh, height, uh, about four or five centimeters from linear probe, um, then they are very small. And that can be a problem because you, you cannot recognize maybe a thin st structures, but that problem was solved by using the additional virtual screen um, next to the scanner. Uh, conclusion. Such a system can be a highly portable solution, AR glasses, wireless scanner in the hand, no additional device, you have the second hand free for whatever you want to do. Uh, but of course, that was only first test. We have to do more studies regarding ergonomic and of course, accuracy of the system, because that is uh, most important when using such a thing. And well, nearly perfect nine minutes. I'm finished. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or add me on LinkedIn 